Welcome, everybody, to another fantastic episode of Super Shares powered by Q. My name is Joe Marquez, Director of Academic Innovation for Q. And today I want to share with you some fun things that you can do with images on the web that can be done in Google Draw or in Canva to kind of cartoonize what you are doing. It's really simple. It's, we're going to be using a couple different web apps. They're all free and they're fun to do. But before we do that, I want to make sure that you know that Q's signature Northern California Conference, Fall Q, is happening in less than two months. That is right. On October 22nd and 23rd, uh, Fall Q will be happening at Teachers College of San Joaquin uh, in San Joaquin County Office of Education Facilities. Uh, and that is going to be happening again October 22nd and 23rd. We have over 130 sessions, two amazing keynotes to bring uh, ideations and innovations and just inspire you throughout that weekend. It's going to be great. So if you would like to know more, all you have to do is travel over to fallq.org and learn more today. And we have a very special uh, opportunity for you. If uh, you get your administration to send five of your team members, your administrator gets to come free with you. Or if you're an administrator watching, thank you for watching. You can go for free if you send five of your uh, staff or team members. It's a great opportunity to collaborate with one another. Q will give you a, uh, a private room to be able to debrief and to be able to talk about what you've learned and the takeaways. And plus, after the conference, you'll be able uh, to meet with Q and talk about what you've learned and to see if there's anything deeper you wanted to dive into so that the conference learning does not stop on the 23rd. It can continue so that you take what you've learned and actually be able to implement it across your campuses. So that is an opportunity. Don't miss out on Fall Q. And that is happening again October 22nd to 23rd. All right. Enough of that Fall Q promotion. I want to get to image manipulations. So what does this mean? Well, we know there's a lot of different kind of uh, image tools that are out there that can cartoonize what you're doing. But a lot of these different tools are now costing money. Um, and we have no idea what they're doing with your data when you log into them, right? We have no idea. Uh, so, you know, there's got to be some fun ways to be able to create a fun and funky graphics. Uh, if you have something as simplistic as a cell phone or something as simplistic as a Chromebook. So I want to show you how to do some of these things right off of the web. So let's take a look at what we can do. Uh, so what we have here is just a blank canvas here on Google Draw. And I want to take an image of myself and be able to cartoonize it. And so one of the images I'm going to take, uh, I need to remove the background. And so for that, I am going to re to use a tool called remove.bg. So here's some of the tools that we're going to be using. If you look right down here, we're going to be using pick svg.com and that's going to uh, basically outline your image in real dark uh, kind of cartoony outline. Uh, we're then going to use svg to png to be able to uh, turn that back into a png that we can layer it on top of and then we're going to use remove.bg if you want to remove a background. So we're going to start with that remove.bg so that looks just like this. We want to remove our background. There's a lot of cool background removers and Canva has a fantastic background remover built right in if you have their uh, pro account. But let me show you here. I'm going to upload an image uh, and I'm going to grab an image up here. Here's the image that I want to do. And so it's an image of myself in my funky 80s uniform right here. Uh, and it's I, I took this on green screen, uh, but it's this does a really good job at, at pretty much taking any background away. So easily in one quick snap, I was able to remove that background. And now I'm going to download it. So now I have this image of myself uh, without a background. That is step one. Remove the background. Now, unless you want to keep the background. But for this, we are removing 
the background. Now I want to be able to turn this into a stencil to kind of create that inking effect that you would have on a cartoon. For that, we are going to a tool called Pick SVG. Pick SVG. And you can see what it does here. We have a photo of a shoe. And what it does, it, it'll turn it into a stamp or stencil of that shoe. So I'm going to upload my picture here. And that's going to be the image that we just did with no background. And I'm going to open it up. So here it is. It loads the picture. And you can see from one side to the other, it creates that stencil. Now, the cool thing here is it, it allows you to say how thick do you want your stencil. Um, so I recommend between edge three and edge four. It's just dependent on how dark you want that. I am going to do this. I'm going to download this as edge four. And then I'm also going to download this as edge three. Just in case uh, I use edge four and I think it's too dark, I can always go back to uh, using that edge three. Now, here's the reason that we're going to use SVG to PNG. If I try to upload an SVG here to Google Draw, it doesn't accept it. It says, we don't understand that file type. Now, I can upload it directly to Canva, which is what we're going to do next, okay? Uh, if you use Canva, it'll let you upload SVGs all day long. So what I have to do is I now have to convert that SVG, that stencil, that we have here to a PNG and now it's done. Boom, take it, awesome. And just in case I'm gonna do that other one, the, the, the lighter one, I'm gonna download that as well. So now what I've done is I have taken my initial image and removed the background. I then went to the pick SVG to turn it into a stencil. Uh, and then I went to uh, the SVG to PNG uh, to turn that stencil into a PNG so that I can actually use it in Google Draw. Now it's all about just layering it on top of one another. So I'm going to open up this drawing here and I'm going to insert that image of myself without a background. So here it is. Boom. Open. Done. Just like this. And I'm just going to move it up to the corner. So there I am. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop that PNG of the stencil. There it is. And now all I have to do here for this one is drag it until it perfectly matches. Boom. Me. And look at that. It creates like this cartoony stencil right here. Just the way that I want. Boom. And so there we go. Now I have this. You can see it has that, that cartoonized view of myself now. And I can download that and then use that on any of my uh, platforms that I want, right? That's pretty cool, right? Being able to take a picture of yourself, removing the background, and then cartoonifying yourself right here in Google Draw. And now they can take this and they can put it in a Google uh, a Google slide presentation. They can do anything they want with it. Anything that you want your students to do with it. Pretty neat. I just love that you can cartoonize yourself really simple and at zero cost. But let's take it up a step. Let's take it up a notch. If you want to go even further, let's do all of this here in Canva. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to come over here just to a, uh, a, a small little portrait right here. Portrait of myself. There we go. And I'm going to start from scratch here. Okay. And I am going to come up here to uh, upload. Upload file. And I'm going to show you how easy Canva allows you. Here we go. I'm just add it. Boom, here it is. Watch how quickly Canva allows you to remove the background. So I'm going to go to Edit Image, Background Remover. Notice it has a little uh, king's hat on, a little crown. Uh, so that's, that's only for the pro version, okay? So if you don't have the pro version, you can still use Remove BG to do this. But it's doing its thing right here, here in Canva. And it's going to take away that background. Boom. There it is. Now that background has been taken away. How awesome. Now, the only thing Canva won't do is it won't create that stencil. 
right? So if you want to create the stencil, you will still have to go to remove to the background, come over here to the converter. But now you don't have to go to SVG, to PNG, because Canva allows SVG. So let me show you. I'm going to go back to Canva. And here's my SVG right here. I'm going to just upload that. Watch this. Here it is. Done. I'm going to add this. And all I have to do is make it to the size of this guy. Maybe just make it a little bit smaller. There it is. And boom, right here in Canva, I now have that cartoonized figure of myself with that. Now, but here's the other cool thing here in Canva. Let's say you want it to look, you want the the actual photo part to be a little bit more cartoony, right? So all I would do is I'm going to move this guy off to the side. I'm going to click on my guy right here and under edit images. There's a whole bunch of different filters and effects that you can do. You may not know this, but in Canva, you can come down to the bottom and there's, there's all these things that says you may like, and it's different things you can add to your Canva effects. And one of my favorite Canva effects right here, of course, is that the paint effects. And if you click on it, it will give you kind of a, uh, a preview of what you want to do. So let's take a minute while it does its thing. There we go. So you see that now we have this. And now all I do is bring this over the top. And now it looks even more cartoony that way really cool way to just you know be creative with these different images right here it's pretty neat pretty cool way to, to to be able to do that but notice it adds that background again so if we go back to edit image and do background remover again let's see if it removes that background now uh on top of myself And I love how it does all of this within the Canva ecosystem. And it basically does, right? So now I just bring this guy back over and look at that. A neat little cartoonified me right there by being able to utilize these simple tools. Uh, now, again, uh, there are some ways that if, if you don't have access to Canva, there are some ways that you can do a little bit more here in Google Draw. Uh, one of my favorite tools to use uh, for this um, is a, uh, let me come over here to my tools over here. Um, that would be my different tools over here that uh, allows us to do would be Pixlr. So if I come over here to Pixlr, P-I-X, all righty, so here we go. Here's that Pixlr right here, pixlr.com. And I like Pixlr X because it's just super and easy. And look, it lets you come in and bring these images in. So I'm gonna go ahead once again, and I'm going to add in that image. Now we, I've already. I'm going to bring the image in that I've already taken the background away from, just like this. Now there is a tool in here that lets you take the background away, but I, I think the remove BG just makes it super easy to do that. Uh, and then I can come over here to effects, and I can change the colors that way. Look at that, pretty neat. Like, let's say I want that one. All I do is hit save. Save as a PNG because you want to keep it transparent. Just hit save again. There we go. And so now what I'm going to do, let me move this guy off. Go insert, image, upload from computer. I think it's saved to my documents. There it is. So there I am. I'm going to bring it down. Boom. Maybe I should make that. Oh, we want to make that 
behind. So I'm going to go and I'm going to order that to the back. And there we go. And all you have to do, sometimes you just have to resize it just a little bit to make that fit perfect. Almost. And there we go. And so now I have that cartoonized effect with that different filter in the background. And again, I used pixlr.com slash X to be able to bring those tools in here for that. Now, there's so many different ways that you can have fun with this, uh, but this is an easy first step in that photo manipulation process. And again, the tools that I use right here, PIX SVG to turn it into that stencil, SVG to PNG, if you're using Google Draw so that you can use that stencil as a layered PNG, and then remove BG so that you can remove any background to create your image. The one last one that we added at the end was the pixlr.com slash X, that is able to give you those photo effects that you can then layer in Google Draw. And of course, if you have access to the full version of Canvas, the pro version of Canvas, you can do all of these things in Canvas as well, as long as you use that uh, Pix SVG uh, to get that stencil. Uh, if, if Canva was able to get a stencil, boom, now you can do it all in Canva. And you can tell, I love Canva. So I, I hope this kind of sparks some image manipulation uh, excitement for you. I, I, I hope you could find a way to utilize this in your classroom for student creativity, uh, especially, especially if you're making infographics or you're having them create some pretty cool Google slide presentations or collaborative uh, uh, collaborative projects in the class. It'd be super cool to see if you do that. And if you do that, Hit us up. Let us know that you're using this. Go to go to Q. Uh, go on on Twitter and and let us know at Q Inc. Uh, let me know uh, on on Twitter at uh, Joe Marquez seven zero right down here. Let me know if you're using these. And and one last thing, um, this show is for you. So if there's any uh, any tool or anything anything that you want to see on here, let us know. Uh, again, on the socials or, or hit us up on the Twitters. But we also made this specifically for you, the Q members, to come on and share a, a, a cool thing that you're doing in your classroom, a cool routine or a cool lesson that you've created. Or, or maybe you found a tool that you're utilizing in a different way that you want to share with the rest of us. So let us know. All you would have to do to be on an episode of Super Shares is go and fill out this form. So if you go to qlearns.org slash qmedia, you can select that you want to be on Super Shares. Fill out the form. Let me know what you want to share about. And we will connect and we will get you on a future episode. Because we love to say Super Shares are by Q members, for Q members, and for the rest of the education community. So come on down. We would love to have you on a future episode. And if you want to see us in face-to-face -face format, hey, again, Fall Q is a great place to do that. October 22nd and 23rd at Teachers College of San Joaquin. Just go to fallq.org uh, to go and see more details. Well, until next time, I hope you're having yourself a fantastic first week of school, second week of school, or pre-week of school. Because as we all know, everything starts happening in August. Have yourselves a wonderful 